Dear students, on this board you can see two simple electrical circuit. Simple electrical circuit, if you are analyzing these two circuit, you can see that there are three cells in the first circuit, there are three cells in the second circuit, there is a resistor, there is a resistor, a bulb, a bulb. Okay, so it looked like same circuit, but there is only one difference. What is that difference? You can see that in the first circuit, these three cells are connected in series and in the second circuit, the cells are connected in parallel. Cells are connected in series, cells are connected in parallel. When we are switching on the circuit, I'd like to ask you a very simple question. Bulbs are glowing, right? The current will be flowing. You know that positive terminal is here, negative terminal is here. The current will be flowing from positive terminal to negative terminal. So when this current is flowing from positive terminal to negative terminal, this bulb will be glowing. Similarly, in the second circuit also, you can see the current is flowing from positive to negative through the bulb. So definitely when current is flowing, the bulb will be glowing. So the question is, which bulb will be glowing with more brightness? Is it the first? That means in the series combination of cells, or in the parallel combination of cells look like a simple question right i think you have the answer in your mind but dear students it looked like a very simple question but it's not that much simple so in this session we are going to discuss a very important topic from grade 12 chapter current electricity and the name of the topic is combination of cells combination of cells in series and parallel Yes, you know, in 12th grade physics, current electricity is one of the very important chapter, around 10 mark weightage is there and lot of numerical conceptual questions will be there. It's not easy to answer the questions if you are not 100% okay with the concept. So, in this session, we'll be discussing a topic, as I told you, combination of cells in series and parallel. So, welcome back. So this is a circuit, you can see cells, three cells are there in series, three cells are there in parallel. So, if you are coming back to the first circuit, you can see that the cells are identical. Identical in the sense all the cells are having the same EMF. So, for say for example, let us take the EMF of each cell is 2 volt. So, this is 2 volt, this is 2 volt, this is 2 volt. Like that, there are three cells. Similarly, in the second circuit also, you can see there are three cells, but the difference is they are connected in parallel. They are connected in parallel. So, in this way, you can connect n number of cells, like 10 cell, 100 cells, 1000 cells, you can connect in series or in parallel. So, question is again, in which case the brightness will be more. So, here you can see that uh, current will be flowing from positive terminal to negative terminal. Here also the current is flowing from positive terminal to negative terminal. Definitely the brightness depends on the magnitude of the current which is passing through the bulb. If more current is passing through the bulb, its brightness will also be more. So, here what we need to calculate is in which case the current will be more. Is it in the first case or in the second case? Alright, so we have to use many basic ideas to understand the magnitude of current. So as I told you in this chapter, the concepts are very, very important. You should understand from the base. If base is not clear, it will be difficult to understand, difficult to solve the questions like this. There will be numericals based on this question. So I'm directly go to the formula for the current, how to calculate current in both the cases. Okay, so the derivation of that formula that we will be discussing in the next session derivation is also important. But here here, I'd like to say the answer for this question. Okay, so let's come back. So we are going to calculate the current flowing through these two circuits. Dear students, please note that more the current, more the brightness. You can, you have the answer in your mind. I think there is an answer in your mind. In which case the brightness is more means there will be an answer. Let's see whether that answer is correct or not. Okay, so let us assume the current flowing through the bulb in first case see as you know it is flowing from positive to negative let us take the current as i so i is the current flowing and in second case also let us take the current is i so i current is flowing now what are the factors affecting the magnitude of this current how can you calculate the magnitude of current so i'm going to write the equation for current in both the case in the series combination the equation for the total current i will be equal to i is equal to n e divided by n r plus r this is the formula i'll explain each and every letter in it but when come to the parallel combination there also we'll get an equation for the current which is i equal to n e divided by n r plus r so Compare these two formulas. Are they same? See, 
numerator if you are comparing the numerator they are equal it is ne but denominator there is a slight difference right what is the difference in the first case what you are getting it is n small r plus capital r here n capital r plus small r so the first question is what are this uh, the letters the meaning of this letters right here n is the number of cells that you are connecting number of cells you are connecting in the circuit so in the first case you can see how many cells are there three in second case also there are three cells so here n indicates number of cells n is number of cells so in this case we can say n is equal to three so in both the case series case and parallel case you can see n is equal to three next e what is e e is the emf of the cell that we are connecting e is the emf all right so here we have taken an example two volt so emf is two volt in both case in series and parallel it is two volt e is the emf now there you can see r small letter r what is this small letter r you know this concept small letter r is the internal resistance of the cell every cell will be having an internal resistance what is the meaning of internal resistance from the name itself you can understand it is the resistance offered by the cell the cell inside there are some material that material can offer some resistance that is called what internal resistance we'll be studying about internal resistance in detail in another session so here small r is representing the internal resistance and capital r of course you can see in the circuit diagram there is a resistor connected in the external circuit and here also there is a resistor so that is the external resistance so which includes that external resistance includes like the resistance of the all external part it includes the resistance of the connecting wire everything okay so i hope you got an idea about different different physical quantities here once again n indicate number of cells capital e indicates emf of each cell small r is internal resistance capital r is external resistance okay so these are the two equations for finding current one in series other one in parallel okay now we need answer in which case the brightness will be more okay come back to understand that i'm going to take two cases here case one is the first case all of you listen here the case one let capital r is very much greater than small r that means the external resistance that we are connecting is very very large compared to the internal resistance of the cell if that is the case let's see what's the result so please keep in your mind external resistance is greater than internal resistance so if external resistance is greater than internal resistance come back to this equation what will be the current here i is equal to if external resistance is very much greater than internal resistance when you are adding these two that internal resistance value will be negligible isn't it yes so here you can see it is n small r plus capital r but small r is negligible you can neglect that so if you are neglecting the rest of the term will become i is equal to n into e by r look at the result it is n into e by r now the same case i'm going to apply in parallel combination in parallel combination what we'll be getting if external resistance is greater than internal resistance see you can neglect internal resistance small letter r so the remaining term will be i is equal to what n e by n r n n will be cancelled see n e by n r n n will be cancelled it is e by r e by r okay once again come back to the first case what you are getting it is n into e by r dear students what is e by r what is e by r you know that e is the emf of the cell it is the potential difference by the resistance v by r it's current right e by r is current but current from remember e is emf of one cell so e by r current drawn from one cell current drawn from one cell into n so in this case look at this result here students it is n into e by r what is n into e by r current from one cell i from one cell one cell so very very interesting result if one cell can send a current of 5 ampere 5 ampere it is n times 5 so if you are using three cells it will be three times five you will be getting 15 ampere hope you understand that so if you are using thousand cells so what will be the total current it will be thousand times the current from one cell clear or not yes but come to parallel what we are getting i is equal to e by r what is e by r it's current from one cell only right see the total current in this case is equal to current from one cell that means there is no point of connecting three cells five cells hundred cells or thousand cells what we are getting there is current from one cell only clear that means can we say which combination is good in which case the brightness will be more now i think you can say the answer just series combination but 
is it true for all the cases the answer is no because we have discussed only one case so clearly we can say that if external resistance is greater than the internal resistance current will be more in series combination now let's check the other case as well that means case 2 what is that case case 2 let small r is much greater than capital r that means the internal resistance of the cell is very much greater than the external resistance so external resistance is comparatively very small then what will be the result i equal to so which one is negligible now it is capital r is negligible so capital r is negligible means we get n e by n r n e by n r n and l will be cancelled we will be getting e by r e by r so total current is e by r now we can apply the same case in a parallel combination see i is equal to look which can be neglected capital r is negligible right so what will be the result if this term is uh, negligible the remaining term will be like n e by r n into e by r once again dear students what is e by r e by r is current right e by r is current so look at the result e by r is current current from how many cell one cell current from one cell so the result that we are getting here is i is equal to n times current from one cell current from one cell but in series combination we are getting only e by r e by r that is current from one cell so the result is interesting so here we are getting i is equal to current from one cell but in parallel combination we are getting n times current from one cell that means since there are three uh, cells we will be getting three into current from one cell but in series combination we are getting current from one cell okay hope you understand it so now i'm going back to the question in which case the brightness will be more can you say the answer now directly we can't say we need other factors also that means we have we should have an idea about the values of internal resistance and external resistance so dear students how can we conclude we can say that in a circuit i mean cells can be connected in series or in parallel so in which case we'll be getting more current or maximum current it depends on internal resistance and external resistance that means in the first case that you can say that if external resistance is greater than internal resistance to get maximum current we should connect the cells in series if external resistance is greater than internal resistance it should be connected in series at the same time if internal resistance is greater than external resistance to get maximum current we should connect them in parallel okay so you will be having a doubt about this formulas how we got this formulas and what are the type of numerical that can be asked from this uh, topic so many doubts will be there that and all we'll be discussing in another session uh, so as I told you, uh, this current electricity is one of the very important chapter. The concept, understanding the concept is also very, very important. So uh, all the topics we'll be discussing in our sessions. Oh, this topic is very, very clear. Thank you very much. Uh, see you in uh, another session with another topic. Thank you very much. Brilliant Katha, your trusted coaching partner for IIT, JE, NEET, Science and Commerce students with 10 years of excellence in quality training. Brilliant Katha.